Let me get the gate for you. How's it going, booze man? Fine, damn it. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. Some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers. Believe it or not. Oh, shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Deke. See you, Boo. This time you got me. I'll take all the guns I can get my hand.
distance, I cannot discern what was attracting the insects, but from the size of the swarm. This way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-uh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next night, with Nero Protocol 2 7 states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead. So I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, don't understand. But fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Oh, Brian, he's alive. 
was he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't gonna make it. But he got her to a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be. She. No, 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 no. But O'Brien is alive. But O'Brien is alive. And if he is, then maybe. A shit squatter patrol. Where'd you get the bike, huh? Later, burn out these nests. Okay, now just gotta carve it up. Uh, fresh meat. That ought to do it. Okay, I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Deke, you there? Booze man. Um. A few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye booze, man. I'll tell you about it later. <sighs> when are we riding out of here, Deke? <laughs> soon, Boozer. Real soon. <clears throat> Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. O'Brien, are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on, O'Brien! Get back to me. down the chopper. Was it the same guy, the one we saw on the roof that night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. And did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He, he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened to her. And I... I don't think she's still alive. What you... No. No, look, I'm not stupid, loser. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. What she done. I don't need to find any peace. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that, all to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. Eh, nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a... New bike, right about now. Yeah, scrap. Didn't know if you were coming back or not. 
Hey, you know I wouldn't leave you out here. It's getting dark soon. We'll be okay. Hey, booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm, I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world he never would have dreamed of. I built my first treehouse to use as a deer blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. Survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like the water at home. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. Freaks and marauders, yeah, yeah. Go kill each other. What's this? should be it.
burn out the rest of these nests. Come back later, finish burning out these nests. It up. You have to drop some bounties off early. Back to Fear for your bike. Work. Get to work. I didn't do anything. How you doing, kid? They won't let me leave. <laughs> Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. 